welcome to the channel. It's uh, Saturday. I think it's probably around lunchtime. And I thought I'd come up to the city and walk around a little bit and see what's going on. I'm in the northeast corner right now and uh, quite a bit of traffic out. It's really a nice day today. The uh, temperature's about 28 and the air's not too bad. I think it was like 41 when I came up Samong Road, but uh, it may be the air may be a little bit different than that. I think I'm going to get out on the outside and walk around a little bit. If you come back this way a little bit. Last week, or the last video that I did, and I don't know if you all caught it or not, but as I was walking across the street, I used the, uh, I was using the crosswalk, and I had pressed the button, and we had got a green light, and you can see the lady in, in coming in front of me, and two two ladies on a motorcycle. Had they been just a, a couple seconds faster, they would have taken that lady out, and, and I mean, and just knocked her crazy. So you really, you know, you really have to pay attention to uh, to what you're doing when you're walking around the streets here, just because you, you know, you're in the crosswalk or. You know, the light's flashing and, uh, you know, it says you can walk. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a good good idea to walk. Oh, that's really pretty. We're just going to walk around a little bit today. I'm going to tell you a story about something that happened in the United States uh, that has a Thailand twist to it. And it, it kind of goes in, into, uh, you know, what I'm talking about right now. It really, it's, it's really a sad situation, but it is what it is. That's really pretty, but we're going to go walk down this way. And I don't really have a set place to walk. There you go. They're learning how to ride a motorcycle. <laughs> See, and I don't want to look the other way. I'll get hit going the other way. You really have to be careful. Especially, too, because you've got a lot of people now from out of town riding motorcycles and driving, renting cars and stuff, and they don't necessarily know how to drive here. So, you know, you're dealing with that, too, as you're out walking around. But uh, you see a lot of traffic today. As far as me, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I finished my second part of my first chemo and everything went fairly well i had a little problem with my left arm i had to go back to the hospital and uh, let them check my arm and, and i seem to have got maybe an infection from the uh from the first injection but uh they ran a bunch of tests on me and stuff and gave me some antibiotics and some pain pills it feels pretty good right now, so I, I think I'm in pretty good shape. Yeah, we'll walk down this way. But, um, now, sorry, I'm going to tell you, around New Year's, this college kid in uh, Michigan, he had been to a party. And he left the party and apparently caught a Uber and I'm sure he was probably a little bit inebriated. But anyway, the Uber ended up kicking him out of the car and he, he ended up walking. It was pretty much in the late at night. And uh, in an area that's, you know, really not walking friendly as far as what the article said. But as he's walking, he, uh, he gets hit and he gets killed. And the, uh, the person that hit him, it was a woman driving a, a BMW. And she stuck, st said she stayed around for a little while and then she left. And uh, it doesn't say whether, you know, uh, there were people around that saw her or whatever, but they did find pieces of, of the vehicle. And uh, and tracked her down. Well, it turns out uh, 
She was a 57-year-old Thai woman who had migrated to the United States. She was an uh, American citizen, but she also had, had uh, Thai citizenship as well. And instead of doing the right thing, you know, or she told a couple of her friends that she thought she killed somebody and uh, she was going to leave the country. And they tried to convince her to, uh, you know, to turn herself in. And, you know, had she turned herself in, it, it's a pretty good possibility. It may not have been her fault. You know, if the guy's walking out in the, in the road, and, you know, accidents happen. But uh, instead of that, she, uh, she jumps on a plane. Wow, look at that squirrel. He's going at it. She jumps on a plane to, uh, to Dallas. And then from Dallas, I uh, think she got caught another, another uh, flight to Finland and then from Finland to Bangkok and uh, pretty much has absconded. Now, it said, you know, the FBI has got involved in it and they'll find her. I mean, she's not going to, you know, she may be able to hide for a while, but eventually, you know, things will, will, will turn around. And, you know, her, her poor husband, He's stuck back in the States. Apparently she's, she was married to an American. And uh, he basically says, well now, you know, two families are, are without a, uh, without somebody. And it's, very, it's true. Let's see how well she does getting across the street here. You have to really be careful crossing at these crosswalks. They painted most of them. I think we'll get on this side and I'm gonna cross the street too. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, they don't like to slow down. But uh, so far, as far as I know right now, she hasn't been apprehended. But they will, uh, the FBI will snatch her up and uh, she'll end up getting extradited back to the United States. Unless she finds a way to hide here. Uh, you know, it's, that's pretty easy to do sometimes if you have the right connections. Well, I think we'll go this way. But, you know, and, and a long time ago, Lek told me, she said, you know, if you're walking the streets here, you know, be careful, just because they'll, a lot of times they'll run you over, and if they do stop, a lot of times they stop to make sure that they killed you. And, uh, you know, that, that that's just what she told me, so, you know, you have to really be careful. And I, I had a very good friend of mine that, uh, a lady that Leck and I know, and she was riding her motorcycle and uh, she had her dog in the basket. And the next thing you know, she wakes up on the side of the road. Uh, somebody had hit her and uh, you know, they didn't stop. Now he had a cool motorcycle here last time I was here, I think. But uh, yeah, they just left her laying there on the side of the road and she woke up and uh, somebody was holding her dog for her. Yeah, we talked to this guy last time we were here too. Pretty neat little place. Yeah, let's see where we're gonna go. I think, maybe, hey buddy. Hello. <laughs> I think maybe we'll go down to the right here. I want to uh, I want to thank everybody that spot coffee. Uh, it definitely helps. I mean, insurance company is do, is doing excellent, but even with the insurance, I'm, I've still got a lot of out of pocket expenses that I'm paying every time I go, you know, like the la last night when I had to go, uh, you know, I had to pay that. That was like 3,000 baht and 
you know, they, they, it, the coffee helps. It uh, helps offset that. And, you know, like I said, Leck and I were not expecting this to happen. But, you know, nobody is. And, and that's the unfortunate thing about cancer. Yeah, it just, it comes and, and uh, you just got to deal with it. Yeah, I don't know if I've, I probably, I'm sure I've walked this road before, but we're going to walk it again. A lot of new shops up here. But yeah, you know, the, the, the lady, and, and I feel sorry for her, but still, you know, you need to accept responsibility for, for what you've done. And... Uh, She'll, uh, she will not enjoy the ride back to the United States. Um, you know, it's not a, not a pleasant experience being extradited back to another country. Wow, this is nearly neat. Oh. Cool building here. Room available to start at 280 baht. Yeah, we'll walk down here further. Tripping over my own feet. Now, I think if I turn left here, this will take me in behind the temple. We're going to see them funny birds again that always talk. A nice little coffee shop, Chang resident. Huh. Yeah, we'll make a left here. This K2 house. There we go. But yeah, she'll uh, she'll have an uncomfortable ride back to the United States, and then she's not only that she's she's facing federal charges, unlawful flight to avoid prosecution, which is not uh, not anything to blink your eyes at. Yeah, these little birds up here. I love to, I love to uh, love to show them because they they it's really neat to hear them. Uh, and I'm hoping that this microphone is picking up the way it should um, because they they talk in all different languages. Hello, guys. Let's see what they got to say today. Hello. He's quiet today. Let's see if this one talks. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And birds everywhere. Oh, we'll walk down here. And... You laughing at me, huh? Aren't you? Get a good laugh. Walk back here and go to the left. Don't think I can get through this temple from this gate here. If I can, I'd go through here. But they usually keep this closed. Yeah, I don't think I can get through. No, it's locked. They're really a nice place. Oh, they're building something. Huh. Pretty cool. Let me see what I can see. See if I can see what they're building. Oh yeah, building an entrance way. It's a 
good thing about having this pole, I can get it up and get it way over the thing. See all kinds of stuff. Alright, let's head back. We'll head over here to, towards the left and go back. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't have any major issues. Um, I'm not having any uh, side effects from the chemo yet. I'm not losing my hair. Uh, sometimes I feel a little bit, just a little bit woozy. But you know, I mean, nothing, uh, nothing drastic. So. Knock on wood, you know, I've, I've still got, uh, I've got three more sessions of two. I go Monday, on a Monday, and, and I, I have a long day where they give me two different types of uh, chemo. And I stay the night. And then I have a week off. And then I come back the next, and they give me one chemo I spent spend the night then too and uh, then I've got two weeks off and I'm on my two weeks off now so you know we'll wait and see what happens but I'm bound and determined I'm gonna fight this as hard as I can and uh, get some more life out of this uh, I'm, I'm not ready to go yet and I'm not gonna let uh, I'm not going to let this slow me down. Hello. Hi. Let me need my cell phone. One thing I, I wanted to mention, and I'm going to mention this. Um, wow, look at the paint job on this thing. <laughs> That's wild. Um, yeah, er, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yesterday, Leck and I stopped and ate at Gecko on the way back from after we left the hospital. And uh, as we were sitting there, Lex says, there's some girl walking down the street in a bikini. So I, I looked and I, I could barely see through the, uh, through the bushes, you know, in, in, around the out, outside there walking down the street. And it was basically, it was a guy and a girl. And she wasn't wearing a bikini, she was wearing a bikini top. And the guy was wearing no shirt. And uh, it's to that's totally unacceptable here. Um, you know, if you're at the beach or something, that's a different story. But here in Chiang Mai, um, it, it's just not acceptable to walk around without a shirt on. And I believe, if you're riding a motorcycle, uh, there's even a law that says you have to have a shirt on while you're riding a bike. But uh, it was completely unacceptable. Acceptable. And, and number one, it's not real safe because this sun is so bright. You get, you get a good, good burn before you even know what happens. Just so peaceful back in here. We will walk out the front. Warning. Check your belongings before leaving. Huh. That's another thing that I've been, been reading. There have been a lot of pickpockets. Not here in Chiang Mai, but uh, in Padia. Yeah, there's some warnings here. No smoking, no littering, no shorts, no climbing. Please keep silent. Uh, Chiang Mai tourists, please. But yeah, there's in Padia there was just uh, a couple of Indians yesterday that uh, lost 44,000 baht from a pickpocket. Hey, that dog is chilled out, buddy. 
He is perfect. He is absolutely perfect. Well, let's walk out this way. I'm just enjoying the, you know, the fresh air and a, and a decent walk today. Um, I, uh, I enjoy the exercise. Hello. No, I'm okay. I just walk around. Thank you, though. Oh, I'm just walking. I got a car over there. I just walk around, make video, and go home. I'm okay. Thank you, though. Exercise. Get too fat. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, let's see. I think we'll go this way. Hit one of these little side streets up here. So far, everything seems to be working fine. Hello. That's kind of cool. I know I've been by here a bunch of times. Yeah, we'll go here and either walk through this temple. Yeah, we'll cut through this temple and go out that way. I know where that comes out. Yeah, we just came from down there. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we'll walk through here. Hey, Poochie. He's making stuff. Hmm. Oh, this is neat. Get their cistern right here. <laughs> Body cop. That's so pretty. Yeah, we'll walk straight out here. <laughs> oh, kids are so cute. Phew. Now let's see where this takes us out. Okay, yeah, I know where we're at. Pizza by hand is right there. This is... I can't remember the name of this temple. But I know I've been through it a bunch of times. Yeah, we'll walk down this way. I 
think I need to make a left to hit the car. this way and that will take us back to the car well I hope you enjoyed this little walk I sure did and uh, saw a few interesting little locations and different things but uh, anyway I'm gonna head back to the car and I'm gonna head to the house get this edited and get it up and might have a live stream tonight might might not i don't know you just have to see how it goes but i appreciate everybody checking in i appreciate everybody that's uh you know left good comments and bought coffee and all that good stuff it really means a lot to me now, this lady is a really good artist and we'll see you later